You ready for our first case? Please introduce yourself, state your name, and DOC number for the record. Name is Terrence Skipper, number 419193. All right, Mr. Skipper, you heard the introductions. We'll have a parole interview, ask you some questions. You can respond. At the end, you can make a statement. We'll take a vote. You understand the process? Yes, sir. Terrence Skipper, DOC number 419193. You're a third class offender. For all those billing date 411 2024, good time 413 2025, full term 712 2025, uh, five year sentence, simple robbery. Does that sound correct? Yes, sir. You were revoked in uh, 2021, correct? Yes, sir. All right, and you have uh, Ms. Shelby Mallory here. Close? No? Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Okay, we'll uh, it'll speak at the appropriate time. All right, how old are you, Mr. Skipper? 41. How many years have you been incarcerated on this sentence? Excuse me, sir. How many years you've been uh, been incarcerated on this five year sentence? Uh, three years, sir. Do you have a GED or high school diploma? Yes, sir. I received my GED in March of this year. Okay, great. And what degree did you drop out of high school in? Uh, ninth grade, sir. Why'd you drop out? I was just misled at an early age. I wouldn't I wouldn't focus. Doing drugs, getting in trouble, what? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. Doing drugs, just got involved. Ain't really had no guidance at an early age. Have you taken any classes, uh, any type of anger management, any living in balance, thinking for a change, anything? Have you taken any classes? Yes, uh, yes sir. I, uh, I, I was, uh, I went to the risk management and then I, Graduated uh, IC3 computer technology, level one, two, and three. And I did job skills, and I also have my GED, sir. Okay, what about any type of uh, programs like, you know, again, living in balance, anger management, anything like that that, that would have maybe helped you? Well, sir, I, I, I haven't uh, been in none of those classes, sir. What have you done to kind of solve your, your drug problem? What have you done to help yourself with your drug problem? Uh, well, I just really focus on myself and my kids. You know, I, I, I disappointed them. And the last thing I want to do is let them down again. But I mean, at you've had poor supervision. You've been revoked several times and you have a drug problem. Have you that you? How are you going to handle that if you get out? What are you going to do to, to stay off of drugs? I have a, a recovery center down the street from my mother's house. I'm talking about right down the street. And a friend kind of like uh, it's a staff member over there. So I am going to receive help from that place. That's going to be like one of the first things I do to make sure I stay on the right track this time, sir. And so the, the robberies were just drug based. Is that what you were doing? You were robbing because you were doing drugs or what was going on? Actually, I mean, it's no excuse. It's no excuse, but I mean, I just, I just made a mistake, sir, that I, that I, you know, I paid the price for and I never make that mistake again. What, what was your drug of choice? Uh, marijuana and ecstasy. So what are your plans if you were to be uh, released early? Where are you going to go and what are you going to do? Uh, I have I have an adequate support system, sir. My girlfriend, uh, you know, she she's a nurse and we have jobs lined up. You know, I have a few options, but you know, my children stand behind me and with my girl, you know, I mean, I can't get wrong because I mean, I'm God first now, you know, I, I stay prayed up and I know I'm gonna do the right thing, sir. 
so what's you gonna what what job are you gonna do? What exactly are you gonna do for work? Well, uh, my first job would be at a Lowe's. My girl, my girl's family is a manager over there. And it's gonna have me hired, you know, as soon as possible. But I also have a cousin that do landscaping also. And I have a few connections on the offshore. So I know I, know I can't go wrong this time. Okay. The staff, they have y'all have any input for us there? Well, sir, I'm uh, Lieutenant Gibbons. Uh, Do you have any input, sir? Since I yeah, since I've been employed, you you uh you a Seahawks fan? I am. I hope that don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a Seahawks fan. All right, go ahead and give us some input. Uh, since I've been here, um, uh, I was employed back in February, and came in contact with um, Skipper. He has been a He's been um, always professional. He's always um, considerate, respectful. Even during through some times of adversities, he, uh, he's part of our work program here. And sometimes that we're supposed to get him started, and uh, a couple of things fell through. He always handled it with respect, and uh, and he's been he's just always been a you know, just a respectful offender uh, inmate here. We never had any issues with him. Um, that's basically all I can say. He, he's been- Do you have any classes there for? I mean, any, any classes that he can take or no? No, not for the ones that you asked about. But uh, he did receive those ones. He told the IC3 and all those here right. yeah. in the GED okay. here, but none of the other ones are available here. Okay. All right, great. Thank you. Got it. Ms. Renat has a question. Mr. Uh, Skipper, I, I see you were in work release previously. You were, uh, and then it says in October of 22, you were taken out for a disciplinary reason. It's, it's, why were you taken out of work release in October? Uh, I was, after uh, work, I had went to the vending machine and got a soda out of the vending machine, which wouldn't allow it. The deputy saw me and asked me what I was doing, and I I admitted to it, getting a soda water out the machine. So they took, you know, they took me out of work then. Where do you work now? I work at RNS Supply a Pipe a Pipe Yards, ma'am. Okay, I was just curious about the reason for removal. Thank you. All right. <sighs> Now we're here for Ms. Shelby. Mallory, would you like to make a step up there and make a statement? Would you like to make a statement? Stand up yeah, the, right at the podium okay. name. That's right. That's perfect. If you'd like to make a brief statement, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I think Darren's given very much for what he did over the years back. Um, I've been going on every year since he started dating, it was three years. And we prayed together, guys. I went to school, he walked the field, we prayed together. You know, he did the same thing on his end. You know, we have kids, we have three of them. You know, they tell me all the time, I'm tired of talking to dad and kids on. You know, I just think everybody deserves one of the chance, and I think he's very ready. He told me closer to Christ, guys. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for your comment. All right. Would you like to make a statement on your behalf, Mr. Skipper? Sir? Would you like to make a statement on your behalf? Well, yes, sir. I never came with no prepared speech, so I'm going to speak from the heart. I just know that, you know, I made mistakes in my life that I knew I, I had to live with, but I knew like this time, I can't let myself or my family down and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to stay on the right path, sir, and keep God first. And I know everything gonna play itself out. All right. That's all I really have to say. Thank you, thank you. I'll go ahead and vote. Uh, Terrence, look, you, you, 
you've taken some courses and that's good. Your GED, that's, that's, that's impressive. Uh, you know, uh, you got a drug problem and, and you need some help and, and, you know, I, you need some of those classes today. I'm just not prepared to, uh, to vote for you. I would recommend that you get moved to a DOC facility to have some, uh, take some substance abuse program in, in classes, but my vote today is to deny your parole. You have poor supervision. Uh, you have, um, you need more programming. So my vote is to deny. <laughs> Ms. Jackson. All right. Um, Ms. Gibber, I've listened to you and, and I can hear in your voice that you really are um, doing your best to make change. You do have a lot of regrets for the choices you've made and the effects it's had on your family in particular. Uh, I'm willing to take a chance on you. My vote would be a conditional grant upon completion of the Steve Hoyle Long Term uh, Substance Abuse Program. <clears throat> All right. Ms. Renat. Mr. Skipper. Uh, <clears throat> I do hear also that, that you're 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 working hard and you're, you're moving in a forward direction and you're trying to make a change. Um, I, I believe you need some some additional programs. You were removed from the work release program less than a year ago for a rule infraction, um, and you have a good time date which is coming up in April of next year. So my vote today is to deny for those reasons, with, again, with the recommendation that you be moved to a facility that does provide the programs you benefit from, which would also move up your good time. You'd like to, sir. All right. Uh, two votes to deny, one to grant. Today, your parole's been denied. Good luck to you. Excuse me, sir. We'll adjourn at Morehouse at 10 4 yes? Yeah, I think you have one more. Oh, yeah, one more. Huh? We're not adjourned. Go ahead. Uh, I wanted to know, like, after I complete the programs, like, are yeah, you good time to move up and then you can reapply? We can look at it then. Uh, you can reapply when, when the time comes, but uh, that's just, you know, I'm just recommending you be moved for the classes, okay? Thank you.